thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Report number 1506, Class A. Submitted by H.A. on Friday, January 28, 2000. Nighttime sighting by trucker near Hanobia. Season, winter. State, Oklahoma. County, LaFleur County. Nearest town, Hanobia. Nearest road, Highway 144. Observed. In July of 1983, I worked for the timber company, driving a one-ton truck pulling a 1,200-gallon tanker in the Hanobia Pickens area. On a trip back to our facility, a very large, hairy creature ran across the road in front of me. I came within a few feet of running over it. It did not stop. It just kept on running. It was approximately seven feet tall. The upper torso of its body was a brownish color and the lower was a lighter color. One of the things I particularly noticed was no shoes. My first thought was someone's pulling a prank. I soon realized that couldn't be, not up here in these mountainous forests, no houses for miles. I was told by phone by a relative that three large man-like hairy creatures were observed on a person's porch and yard. The man got his SKS and has allegedly shot at one. My relative also told me that contractors who plant young pine seedlings are refusing to go in near Hanobia and plant trees. Today, January 28, 2000, we have had a very heavy snow and while I was home listening to the scanner, I overheard a conversation between two Oklahoma game wardens talking about the incident. One told the other to be on the lookout for large man-like hairy creatures. They seemed very serious. They were talking about the same incident that I have mentioned above. This area is called the Hanobia Wildlife Area and is very, very sparsely inhabited. The area of a 875,000 acres is owned by a large timber company and as the loggers move in to cut the, there are sightings. Environment Pine Forest Report number 8811 Class B Submitted by witness on Monday, June 7, 2004 Footprints found near Hanobia Season Spring State Oklahoma, County, LaFleur County. Location details, just off of State Highway 144, one mile east of Hanobia. The hill we camped on allowed us a picture-perfect view of the small town. Nearest town, Hanobia. Nearest road, State Highway 144. Observed. Having had the benefit of finding a footprint when I was 13, my interest in Bigfoot has led me to privately research the subject for many years. Thanks to your website, I have been able to concentrate much of my attention on Oklahoma, since it has many more reports than my native Kansas, which has not been updated. On that note, myself and some other interested participants traveled to LaFleur County in southeast Oklahoma in an attempt to find some evidence since this area is a hot spot of reported activity. Traveling to Hanobia we met a few of the inhabitants who were more than willing to provide us with information and possible locations where we might have, have some type of encounter. Please note that this is near the exact location that the Mysterious Encounters team film, filmed the Oklahoma Wild Man episode. We too visited the house where they set up operations and noted how the previous occupants had left so abruptly that most of their possessions remained in the home, including a refrigerator full of spoiled food. Having set up camp, we proceeded to stay up until near dawn, occasionally playing the Sierra Bigfoot vocalizations and P 
patrolling the area. Nothing was seen or heard throughout the night. The following day, while walking through the area, myself and one other located three full footprints and one potential track on a road leading up the hillside toward the top of the hill. While we did not apply plaster of Paris to the tracks or accurately measured them, we did take photos, using dollar bills as gauges to measure the length not only of the footprint but also the stride between the tracks. I would quite accurately estimate that the prints themselves were over 16 inches long and the stride nearly five and a half feet. These tracks were located on a sloping road traveling upwards at nearly 40 degrees. Also of note, I understand that many people would disregard such tracks as those of bears or other large animals. But we also took photos of bear tracks we found near the little river located nearby. Anyone who has had any idea of what animal tracks look like can tell the difference. They are not even close. These tracks were huge. Also noticed, while walking along the road to the top of the hill, I periodically found piles of what could be described as scat, but they appeared more like cow manure, yet they were located on the road where there were no fences. However, on the top of the hill there were cattle, so I am assuming that it was cow manure, yet that would mean that either they are allowed to free graze on rock roads where there is no grass or they are simply getting out of the fence and wandering the road. Other witnesses, four of us in all. Other stories. From what I have read on your website, it was obvious that there is something down in southeast Oklahoma. Once we were there to scout out the area, we talked to many of the locals and heard a few of their stories. Many have heard or seen something which they cannot describe or can only say that it is a Bigfoot. What they have seen or heard is like nothing ever depicted in any zoological handbook. Time and conditions, noon, with warm temperatures and sunny skies. Environment, mainly pine forest and undergrowth, but extensive logging has cleared off many tops of the hillsides to make way for cattle. Numerous river bottoms and creeks cut through the hills with considerable and thick vegetation. Easy to get lost if you do not have any wood sense. Black bears are here in considerable numbers as well as turkey, deer, other small animals. We were told that many locals have seen a large black panther skulking the woods.